In this tutorial, we will do another GUI project with some coding to solve some problem. But now we are not going to use the template given by the German professor. We are going to do it manually. It is just a little bit difficult because you need to manually configure your project at two places and after that you need to copy a sample code given from internet or you can download it from that page if you already watched the video on how to create C++ WinForm project manually. So now this is not using the template anymore, we are going to do it manually. We start by Clicking File, New, Project. We filter. Remember for the template, we cannot filter. Now we have to filter. Language C++, Platform, Windows. And now you need to look for not empty project but CLR empty project. This one. Next, I'm giving the name Hit Me. The reason why I use this name is because uh, it is what we want uh, to do later in the code. We are going to hit a button. Then Save it in desktop, new folder, hit me. Then create. Okay, we already have all this due to the template that we get from CLR blank project, but it is not Windows project yet. The things that we are going to do afterward is actually done automatically by the template created by the German professor. But now we are going to do this manually. Right click on the project name, hit me. Then click properties because we're going to modify the configuration manually. The, com the modification is under linker and system. We want a subsystem of Windows, this one, because we want to produce Windows application, not the normal console application that we used to do. Then another one is under Advanced, Linker Advanced. It is the entry point, type main, the main function, and pay attention, it is M with capital M, main with capital M, not the small M in regular console application all right then okay then after that you need to add the header file click header files right click add new item the header file is the ui user interface all right ui windows form Then you can get the default file name, myform.h. This is why I like to use myform.h also in the template given by the professor from Germany. So click add. Alright, we get it, but now it is an error. The reason is because we add this header file but the header file but the header file is refer is referencing to some file that is not exist yet so this is the manual configuration so at some at some point there might be some break in the system like this one so don't worry about this just close it then you need to add or you need to, you need to modify my form.cpp actually. 
see this one is empty you need to copy from the internet if you watch the video you should know where to copy from but i already have for myself a local copy of the code that we want over here so i just copy this one ctrl c ctrl v but there is still error win form c demo this has to be the project name the project name in c case will be the space name so we need to remove the default space name or the space name given in the code that we copy we need to change it to our space name fit me in my case here so save it and then it is still not enough you have to close this the entire visual studio and then reopen all right you can close the cpp file in gui application most of your code will be in myform.h so double click this one open it if everything is okay you should be able to see your windows form now all right so let us do some coding or, or modification of the form let us change the my form caption caption to hit the button for example then what button let us drag in the button all right and then if the button is clicked we want to print something just drag in a label the label is where our output or our printing appear so this button is also a widget the whole window is also a widget so a widget is an object that has property so button also has properties label also has properties so for button change the caption of the button in this case is button one currently change it to hit me perhaps so you get a button with hit me as caption then the label at the beginning we may want to make it blank so remove everything and don't type anything so if you click somewhere else outside the, the label it's, it seems like the label is gone but it is actually still there you can select some area you can still see the label is still there but it is empty so this is it for the ui or user interface design let us save it and run at this stage to see if we have made any mistake are we still in the right track all right so we get the program running you click nothing happened yet because we have not defined the event handler so now it is time to define event handler so event handler is a function is a function that is going to be executed when certain event is happening for example the event that we want to process or the, the event that we want to capture in this case is click of this button and what function to be executed is later we will define so you may have not learned function yet so the if you have not learned about function maybe this introduction of GUI is a little bit early because you need to know something about function but anyway function is just something that looks like the main function that you always do in your exercises but the name is different so in this case the function is what we call event handler 
event takes place, it goes to that function. So the function is called event handler. So how to generate event handler? There are many event handler for button, for example, but we just want the default event for a button, which is clicking. So we double click on the button. So now it is double click. If you double click other than this kind of time when you want to create the event handler, you will mess up the code. Later we'll show how you can mess up. So double click on the button. There will be two myform.h open. One is as design, one is as code. So when we when we were talking about event handler, this is what we mean by event handler, the function. Button one click. So I didn't rename the button as now. Button one is this one. The name button one in the actual project your assignment you need to rename this button because if you have buttons or widgets name with number one two three and so on it might confuse it might be confusing because uh, you do not know which button is doing what for example is this button is for calculating sign you, you may want to put the name as sign button All right so that is for later so go back to the code here. So button one click. So button one click is the name of the function or the event handler that is going to be executed when that button is clicked. So what we want to do, if the button is clicked, we just want, in this case, to put a caption in this blank label currently, which is the word, you hit me, All right? So, this is to show the importance of naming. Now this label is also named as label one with, na with number, not the real name. So, how you point or address this label is by putting label, label one. So, you put label one. It is actually a variable that is already declared for you somewhere. All right? So this is level one. And then you want to access, you want to access the text. Now the text is empty. How do you access it? Arrow operator, okay, arrow operator. You put arrow operator like that, then you will see a drop down list of what are possible properties that you can change. So you want to change text property. This one. So to the text property of label one, you want to give a text. What text? You see, this is a practice that programmers always practice when you when you start a string. You start with a double quote and then quickly close it so that you will be sure that everything is balanced. So now I want to put the text. Sorry, you hit me. Okay. So save it, run it. Okay. So if this works, if I click the button, I should see you hit me. There, you hit me. And we cannot remove the text by clicking more on the button because we do not process that logic. But if you close and rerun, the window will start with blank label over here. All right, so that is it. it uh, we achieve our objective. But now, let me show how you can mess up this code. Normally, for a newbie in Visual Studio GUI programming, you tend to double click on everything. But remember, not everything can, 
not every process need to need to double click and often time with visual studio if you double click you mess up if you wrongly double click you will mess up your code okay so let me double click here instead of single click you double click All right so you will get you will get an event handler like this but this is not what you want okay so uh, naturally you might want to delete this all right but if you delete this let me save and run now you see error so don't run you will see many error here so you can click the first error or double click the first error so you see because you delete the event handler just now this pointer is pointing to something that does not exist so another part another place that you need to delete is actually the entire line of this line delete this one also just now you deleted the event handler the pointer to the event handler also need to be deleted so save it run now everything is okay back to the correct code i show you one more let's say you have the label here and you double click on label oops we may need to put something in the label so that we can double click it so let us just put anything so i double click on the label so again you unwittingly create an event handler for that label when it is clicked this is not what we want so if you delete this one also you will get error save build rebuild solution you get an error similar error if you double click the error there the first error it will bring you to the line where the pointer this pointer is pointing to a blank function the one that you deleted just now so because the function is, function is not there the pointer will be now so you just don't want that pointer to be created so delete this line also so two places need to be deleted save it rebuild again now it is back to the correct program but you need to change this one back to blank level just now i put ccc so that i can click it but i still get you hit me after i click the button all right so that is all our first gui program with real coding to solve some problem next is tutorial on doing the same thing using c sharp